Okay, welcome to another Ginger Mathematician video. This is my 500 subscriber video. I didn't even get a chance to make a 400 subscriber video because those subscribers have been going up very, very quickly. So thank you for all your support. I do appreciate it. I'm try to make the videos a bit more various. So try some math videos, try some more lighthearted videos as well. And hopefully you have really enjoyed those as well. So this time I've put a compilation together. So we've got a bit of fitness, We've got a bit of chess, we've got a bit of maths, of course, and then something as a surprise. Okay, hope you enjoy. Hello, everybody. My name is Anna from Baking with Anna, and today I'm going to be making a three-layer cake for 500 subscribers for Ginger Mathematician. I have prepared three cakes and leveled them, and I also made some frostings, of which cream cheese frosting, chocolate ganache, raspberry jam, and red cream cheese frosting. To start off with, I'm going to put some frosting on my cakes. I made two batches of my vanilla cake and put it in three pans. To get that recipe, search Baking with Anna Vanilla Cake and you'll find the recipe with video and all the instructions of how to make it. Now as you can see, I'm spreading out the frosting in an even layer. After that, I'm going to use a piping bag to pipe border around the circumference of the cake. I'm doing this so that the jam doesn't fall out. I'm adding a little bit of frosting so the next cake sticks. Now I'm adding frosting again and repeating the process. And like before, I'm then going to add the jam and make a border. And now I'm adding the next cake. Make sure that the flattest side of your cake is facing the top so that we can have the most even cake as possible. And now I'm spreading out the frosting to make it as flat as possible and even as possible and I shouldn't add the jam because I want my cake to be all white but I made a mistake but that's okay. I'm taking it off and now I'm adding the frosting again. Now I'm adding the last bit of frosting that I have and spreading it out evenly again. And now I'm going to add the ganache around the border of the cake. Okay. Now that I've added the ganache, I'm going to pipe some stars around the border of the cake to cover the chocolate on the top. After I've done that, I'm going to pipe 500 for 500 subscribers. And here's the end product. I hope you like it and congratulations for 500 subscribers. Okay, and here we are, the 500 subscriber three layer cake, which the ginger mathematician is really going to enjoy as he gets right stuck in. Here we go. Mmm, so creamy. That is amazing. Well, thank you, Anna, for the cake. It's absolutely fantastic. If you'd like to check out um, other videos that Anna has done, she does a great ravioli. So you'll see just up there what you need to type into YouTube. And thank you, Anna, again for a fantastic, fantastic cake. I am going to get stuck in again. Okay, welcome to the maths part of my compilation video. So I have taken a maths IGCSE question from the paper two. I'm going to try and do this in less than a minute. Okay, my time starts 
Now, right, so y is proportional to 1 over x. That means that y is equal to some k over root x. Make sure we've got the root in there. Then x is 4, y is 2. So 2 is equal to k over root 4. So that simplifies to k is equal to 4. And root 4 is 2, 2 times 2 is 4. So our model is going to be y equals 4 over root x. And then we need to find what our, what y is when x is 64. So we go y equals 4 over root 64. That's the same as 4 over 8. And that is the same as 1 over 2. So our answer is a half. Okay, I think I've got that done within the minute's time. Okay, if you practice enough, you can do it that quickly as well. All right, see you on the next video. Okay, and welcome to the fitness section of my 500 subscriber video. Just want to say thank you to all the subscribers and to all the people who've been watching my videos as well. It's been an absolute blast the last couple of months putting all these videos together. So I'm going to show you how I prepare myself for my runs by my stretching routine. Hope you enjoy it. I feel fully stretched, I'm going to go on my run. See you around. Okay, welcome to my chess excerpt for my 500 subscriber video. I thought I'd play a quick bullet game, see how I am getting on. So let's see if I can beat this person. Right, let's go, let's go. Be quick, it's all about being quick. I'm going to play with the most boring opening ever, known as the London system. He's going to play the even more boring variation of it. It's not possible to get any more boring. I thought it was going to be exciting for you for the 500 subscriber video, but not so exciting. I do apologize. I'm going to give him this square, which is not great, but we're going to try and exchange some pieces off. Hopefully, we can achieve something from that. Okay, probably a good move not to exchange pieces immediately. Let's get this bishop in a better position. Okay, so he's got okay, some positional trumps, but I'm going to try and exchange everything off. Uh, it's not the best structure in the world, but it'll do. It'll do the trick. Hopefully he takes. That would be quite useful. Unsimplified position. Okay, that is probably a good move. Yes, it is. Let's see if I can get away with this. Yep, yeah, this is the problem. Now he's going to start Moving those pawns forward. Notice the trap. Might just bring my bishop to here. Again, 24 seconds. He needs to move quickly. He's probably going to play f4. Plays f4, knight g4. Could be interesting. But he doesn't play that. So we're going to try and move around slightly with the pieces. Oh, I could have actually taken this straight away. Let's do that. Okay, and we're going to play here. And threaten some horrible discoveries if we're allowed. Let's see if we can. This is looking good. This is definitely looking good. And a double check. Look at that. A double check. How painful is that? I think we are going to win this. If I can keep moving quickly. And I don't move quickly. That's annoying. But winning position at the end, I will definitely take that. Hope you enjoyed this very, very quick video on chess. I thought I'd put a little bit of chess in here, but not too much. All right. Bye-bye for now.